Exciting times lads, I am able to get into the PTR server So I can tell you all about our new favorite feature, the helicopter Just a quick disclaimer that this is still the PTR server, so everything is still subject to change. This video is mostly my interpretation of the helicopter as it stands today. First things first, I want to take a look at the benefits that the helicopter provides. A maxed helicopter will give you a troop lethality and health buff of 154.1%. Now if we take a look at the values of the aircraft, we can see that the maxed buff is 135.2%. 3%. So rally leaders, this means you will have to get your wallet out. Just like aircraft, the helicopter also has three talents. Mass Assault is similar to Rally Enhancement from the aircraft. It increases your attack amplification by maximum 6.24%. This will be the talent that rally leaders want to use when initiating a rally. The second talent, Precise Strike, increases the enemy troops wounded rate by 6%. Last and also the least important buff in my opinion is Iron Bastion. It decreases the friendly troops wounded rate by a maximum of 6%. I truly doubt it only works in your settlement. And so you might be wondering, what vehicle should I use to join a rally or to initiate a rally? And I ask myself that same question as well. For rally leaders, the answer is quite simple. As of yet, it seems like the helicopter will be a better deal than the aircraft due to higher lethality and health stat boosts. Now for joiners, I think it's more complicated. From what I can see now, I think that Tactical Supplies is actually better than the new two talents. However, when you are forming a long battle as Fies or something and the enemy's hospital is overflowing, I can see some usefulness in Precise Strike. That will be all for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like, subscribe. Twelve seconds later. You thought it was over, right? Well, it's not. So you guys actually thought that I would forget my own survey? No, of course I wouldn't. Okay, I'm switching back to my laptop now. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, two videos ago I made a survey whether people want their states merged or they don't. A whopping 622 people filled in the survey. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for doing that. We stand strong together. So the survey consisted of three questions. The first one was pretty straightforward. Has your state been merged or not? Almost 93% of the people, their state is not merged yet. So the second question, if yes, have you been negatively impacted by merges? You can clearly see that 232 people responded on this question, which wasn't the intention at all. So I checked manually with my calculations. I found out that 85% hasn't been negatively impacted by merges. The main reason why people dislike the state merch on itself is because they are not able to rank in skin events anymore. Another one that was heavily touched on is the fact that they got attacked by max players. So the last and final question, if no, do you want a state merch? Almost 91% of the people do want a state merch. Now what I've done in the meantime is talking to the developer team and sending them these results. They have received it, they have looked at it, it's now up to the dev team to come up with a transparent and a true statement about state merges. I know quite some people have missed my initial video on state merges, so if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check the link on the top right of your screen. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do slap the like button, as it helps to grow my channel like crazy. 
I will see you in the next video.